One day, while walking down the mountain, we come across the following slate. Why would you recruit when I get it? But screw that. Beg, borrow, steal, kill to get to dinner below one B. There is a secret outpost we're trying to crack. Once in a lifetime, you will regret it for the rest of your life if you don't get your blood paid. Well, certainly sounds interesting. And why not check it out? Better have that looped in our hands if it comes to spacers, right? Let's make our way over to Denon Bolo 1B. We're now just one jump away from As we land on Dinabola 1B, we find ourselves next to a small outpost, and upon disembarking our ship, we are almost immediately set upon by a spacer keeping guard. It's time to put our melee training in use. Using our trusty cutlass, we make short work of the three spacers on guard duty. Taking a look around, this first section looks much like a small landing pad. Looks like the slate was right. This is a very stealthy outpost. We find our first loot here on the landing pad as well. A stealth equinox and a few grenades. Quite handy. There was no obvious entry on the landing pad level. So we begin to make our way over to a catwalk that wraps around behind the side. And as we round the corner, we find four more spacers. We decide to start with our rifle. second spacer is using some cover very wisely, not wanting to waste any rounds. We switch back over to our cutlass and use the low gravity to our advantage. Second spacer down. Time to go back to our rifle and take care of the third. With the third spacer down, it's time to handle the fourth one. Based on my experience with the spacers, this is an atypical patrol. Larger than normal. This bodes well for us, as it seems they really don't want anyone else getting in, which means it could be a very promising loot source. After taking a quick look around, we find nothing else of value out here, and so we head on inside. Inside we find several lockers, though they seem to have been looted already been occupied by the spacers for some time already. I doubt we'll find much loot until we get further into the outpost. Moving on, we go through a door into another somewhat open area that's already been looted. Around the corner, we hear some spacers. Using our cutlass, we deal with them quickly and silent. As the third spacer falls, we find a slate on one of their bodies. This layer is a gold mine. The mantis was loaded, the salvage top notch, and the good stuff's gotta be further in. The payout's going to be extreme. Just gotta survive until then. Traps took up Carver and Jiang. Livy volunteered a couple of others from Nar and Dave's crew. Just gotta stay off of Livy's radar. After reading the slate, 
We notice that the intercom has a message recorded on it. Let's take a listen. You are doing well, Leon. Almost there. I know. Things have been difficult. The mantle of the Mantis is a heavy burden. But you can do so much good. The spacers and pirates need someone to fear. Someone to check them. To make them realize some lines cannot be crossed. You have it in you, Leon. I know you do. Stay sharp. Focused. Just a little further. Who's Leon? And who's this woman? Is she the Mantis? She's trying to get Leon to go further in, but it seems there are traps in there according to the spacers, though they've taken care of a few. Let's continue on. Rounding the corner down some stairs, we run into three more spacers. So we quickly take care of them with our cutlass. Around the corner where the third spacer came from, we find a dead-end hallway. A little bit of loot and a box that I do not quite have the skill to unlock yet. On one of the spacers, we find another audio tape. So I met with a lawyer and was prepared to party. Hard. The video will was emotional. Mom and I stopped talking years ago. Mom didn't look good, but it was mom. As weird, crazy, and cryptic as ever. I'm almost surprised you remembered she even had a son. It was... hard to hear. Almost touching. But then the punchline. No inheritance until I go to Mom's secret... base? On Denabolo 1B? And she ends not with an I love you or an I'm proud of you. No. Six Semper Tyrannus. Oh my god. Always with that stupid Latin saying. Over and over she'd say that damn thing. Thanks, Mom. Thanks oh so much. A liar, wills, and Latin phrases. This is getting more and more interesting. If this is the lair of the Mantis, then Leon's mother must have been the Mantis and kept it hidden from him until her death. Though if Leon has already been here, he may have taken all the loot already. Only one way to find out. We head further into the outpost, down another flight of stairs, and run into two more spacers. This time, we're using a new lawgiver rifle. Slow rate of fire, but high damage. Unfortunately, a round or two misses our target, and hits some kind of explosive behind them. Fortunately, this did take out both spacers. I don't stock up on junk. Sarah scolds us for picking up extra ammo, calling it junk. But we should move on. Further down the hallway is yet another flight of stairs. At the bottom, more spacers. Using the lawgiver rifle and a well-placed grenade makes short work of these spacers. While effective, the grenade noise did attract more spacers from the adjacent hallway. And so, a small firefight ensues. Out of the frying pan and into the fire, as they say, our small firefight attracted the attention of even more spacers from the next flight of stairs.
After some time dealing with these new set of spacers, I find that the adjacent hallway actually leads to a stairwell. Let's just get in behind them. Final spacers dug in tight in a corner. While that does work to our advantage, the weapon they have is extremely powerful. So we go back up to the upper floor and take up a somewhat of a sniper position. Well, that certainly was a tough fight, but it's finally over now. On the body of one of the spacers, we find a new slate. We found Leon's body. Looks like one of the traps got him too. Big fight over his body until Iron Dave broke it up. Managed to grab his credit stick though, so bonus. Gotta wonder if the Mantis's own son got nixed. How can we do any better? So it seems, even though Leon's mother said he was ready, it would appear that he was not. The traps, while serving as a way to keep out unwanted guests, also seem to serve as a crucible of sorts. For the next mantis and leon failed much like the spacer i too wonder what chance i have at passing this test there's quite a bit of loot at the bottom of these stairs but nothing to write home about Another set of stairs leads us down even further into the south post, and yet more spacers. These spacers manage to give us a run for our money. Ammo's low, health is low. But in the end, we are successful. During the fight, we run across a new spacesuit called the Bounty Hunter space suit. We'll definitely be using this. I'm going to end you. Bounty Hunter space suit. Once we've dealt with these spacers, we find another audio slate on one of them. If you're searching, then make it quick. Pirates from going off the deep end. I, I guess it's possible. She never talked about where she got her fortune, and man, she could handle herself anywhere. It's a, a lot to take in. So Leon figured it out. Before getting got by a trap, he figured out his mom was the mantis. Though he didn't seem too surprised by this. Talked about her money, her riches, her wealth. He knew he, she had to have gotten it somewhere. Now he knows. Still, we have a few more spacers to take care of before we can get to the real loot in this outpost. We finish off one of the spacers we wounded earlier and attempt to throw a grenade, though it didn't go quite as planned. Another grenade out, this time while standing in full view to make sure it actually goes where we wanted it to. Using our pistol, which we still have quite a bit of ammo for, we begin to take snipe shots at the spacers in the distance. The spacers try to outflank us, but with Sarah at our side, we handle this quite well.
glanced hostile down, we find that there's still a spacer standing, though he's not being hostile. We find Livy's notes. Seems he's working on a puzzle. A word puzzle. Last letters for Eon. I think we may know the answer to this. Leon mentioned his mother's obsession with a particular Latin phrase. Maybe that has something to do with a puzzle coming up soon. Anyway, let's speak with Livy. As soon as we're done collecting all of our loot here. Unarmed. No, this is Look, the... we can help each other. I can be useful. Just don't kill me. Spaces aren't usually the surrendering type. It's because I'm smart. You've killed so many. I am nothing. No chance. So we can make a deal? This place was full of traps. Traps everywhere. I removed them. But this, this corridor is just too dangerous. See? Looks normal. One step inside, slam! You are trapped, and nobody's been standing after the doors reopen. How'd you deal with the traps? No, sorry. If I tell you that, then I lose my leverage. They're ingenious. Took a, a lot of lives to tease them out. If you want to be spared, then prove your worth. No one knew how to get through the corridor. But I figured it out. There are letters on the floor. It is a grid. Those letters must spell something. But there are so many words or small phrases. Sounds kind of obvious. What? Well, nobody else here figured that out. See? I've been helpful. You... you could let me go. Or better, I can help. I know these traps. I know how this mantis thinks. Please let me help and just give me a taste of the cachet inside. You can trust me. I like to think of myself as a merciful person and I love giving people the benefit of the doubt. But I don't know about this one. Just get out of here. I don't need you. I have sacrificed too much. No, I... I won't go. I will fight you! Well, that could have gone better for Livy. We tried to let him leave, but he chose to fight. On to the puzzle, then. There's a computer here that is beyond my skill to hack. Though I would guess it would disable the traps in the hallway here, but I think we know the passphrase anyway. Counting the rows, there are eight, the same number of letters in the word Tyrannus. Leon mentioned his mom loved this phrase, so it makes sense. Let's give it a try. Worked. Thank you, Leon, for complaining about your mom's favorite phrase. Now I just need to collect our companion and move on.
travel down some more stairs and encounter our robot. At this point, we have nearly run out of medkits and are in a really sticky situation. So we'll just equip any weapons that have good damage and start working on the robot. Though, he won't be the last. What's this? Another intercom with a message on it. Let's have a listen. I am sorry I could never show this lair to you. The lair is a secret that's been passed down for over a hundred years. And there are rules. You remember when you were a teenager? All the training, the drills, all of it was to prepare you for this. I know you have it in you, Leon. Training, drills, preparing him to take over the mantle of Mantis one day. Though I have a feeling that Leon never got to hear that particular message since he didn't make it past all of the traps. No matter, perhaps we can make it past the last of the traps and pick up the mantle. Around the corner we run into a K-9 robot. I'm going to use some grenades and some nifty tricks to try and take it down since we're beginning to run very low on ammunition and med packs. We eventually subdue it, though at this point we are out of med packs and have to resort to using other methods to heal. So this is it, the Lair of the Mantis. She had meant for Leon to inherit this, but since he fell to one of the traps, it is us instead. Perhaps once we're done dealing with this final robot, we can take on the Mantle of the Mantis and do some good for the universe. Uh, we already hunt down spacers for bounties. Why not do it in a more official, a more vigilante? As the final robot falls, we begin to explore the layer itself. I'm sure they had something we can use. That's it. I don't think I can go to the toe with another robot at this point. In the far right of the layer, we find a security terminal. Though its logs are nonsensical and not much happening here. I had hoped that perhaps if there were any other turrets or robots left, this terminal would have given us the ability to change their friend-foe identification. But alas, it does not. And fortunately, there were no more hostiles.
towards the back end of the layer, we find a control center for a landing area and a switch that will raise the ship up to the landing pad above. But we'll come back to that. First, let's continue on towards the other side of the layer. Along the way, we find a few items that we could loot, but nothing of significance yet. As we enter into what is more of a workshop area, we find a shotgun in a weapons case. We find a few lockers with a few aid items in them. Nothing that will help us in our current situation of low health. And then beyond another door, we come into what looks to be a living area with a fridge, a few more aid items stored in there. Here we find a computer with four files. The first, Scorched Earth Warning. Please log off this computer. Process Scorched Earth has been detected. Three unclosed documents. Warning, you have one hour to comply before admin override. The second file, you've earned it. You must have thought I was crazy, but now you see, right? All the people I could have chosen, I know you will fill the role of Mantis the best. In these computers, you will find the history of the Mantis, what the Mantis is today. It wasn't always the case. When reading the logs about the first Mantis, don't judge her too harshly. It was a violet time, and before she passed the Mantis, she recognized that the Mantis could be more than an opportunity to make money. It could be a symbol. Make the subtle system safer. Strike fear into the heart of those that believe they are above the law, above reproach. But most importantly, keep the secret safe. Now I'm off to retirement. Don't try to contact me. You won't be able to find me. I've left all you need here. The former Mantis. And a file two. Or file three, rather. First kill. I've been forced to take lives before, but this is the first time I've did as so as the Mantis. It was different. I was scared. More about letting everyone down than the fight itself. At one point, the Mantis's ship, the Razor Leaf, was light years above everyone else. And the sh she still flies well and true, but it's clear I need to upgrade pretty much everything inside it. The hole's what matters, though. That's the symbol. But in the end, I got the better of the redder. I imagine there will be celebrations in the streets of Aquila City. Total scum. But I can't shake the feeling that Tracker Works is as its heart murder for pay. I'm not sure why the old Mantis chose me. But pretty much every mantis has said that. DV. About to Leon, the final file. Been going through the motions of living, fighting, and carry on, but all I can think about is you have a year to live, Dory. It plays over and over in my head. I can still mail the office, see the sad, flat eyes of the doctor. Details come back to me at the old, oddest of times. It puts everything in stark relief, what's important, what's not. The most important thing is choosing the right successor, and I know, I just know Leon could do it. I have failed him so much, the job always seems so pressing. If I'm brutally honest with myself, the nannies, the boarding schools, raised him more than I did. But there is greatness in him, if only he could see it. I'm going to talk with my lawyer first thing when I get into the system. The wheels need to set in motion. I'm having a good day today. Feels so normal, but I'm walking through the whole world like it's in a cloud. So she was that These log process. entries show that the Mantis has been passed down by at least two others before. The original, who used it initially as a way to make money and become rich. And then one in between this kind of responsibility the original and Leon's mother, at least. Who tells Leon's mother not to judge the original Mantis too harshly, and that not to try and find him 
as he's going into retirement and will not be found. Not gonna go well, let's see. The final entry shows why Leon's mother is finally deciding to hand the mantle off to him. She received a terminal diagnosis. Doesn't clearly state what that diagnosis was, but I'm guessing it's something fairly severe since even in this particular day and age that Starfield is set in, most diseases seem to be handled fairly well. But this does show us the kind of life that Leon had. Boarding schools, nannies, and he did not have a great relationship with his mother, which may be why he was unable to succeed at the crucible that she set for him to claim the title. And now for the prize of the residential area, the, the Mantis Uniform. It comes with the helmet, backpack, and suit. The Incendiary Mantis Pack has Chameleon, Resource Hauler, Incendiary, and Basic Boost Pack. The Hardened Mantis Helmet has Beast Hunter, Liquid Cooled, and Mirrored. The Reactive Mantis Spacesuit comes with Combat Veteran, Resource Hauler, and Reactive. Overall, this armor is very good, and I do plan to use it for my further bounty adventures. Now, let's head back out to the main area and see if we can't take a look at this new ship. Let's equip the Mantis gear. From the outside, the Razor Leaf, the Mantis's ship, looks to be about the same length as the Frontier, though perhaps slightly taller and most definitely better armed. And here we are. Like a phoenix of the ashes, the razor leaf has been brought up from the lair to the landing pad. A new mantis claiming the title. Let's take a look inside, shall we? The entrance is in the back. We have a standard ramp to get in. And the first floor brings us into a storage area. We have a locker on the side here. A desk with one of the Eggman desk helpers there. There's a floor above us, but let's go forward first. A little more storage here. Kind of a living space, office space. Ah, a med pack. We needed that. 
Around the corner, we have a refreshment area. We can make some coffee. And on towards the front, we actually have the cockpits on this floor. Access to the cargo hold. There's a few resources in there. Let's see, is there anything in the captain's stash? No, it's empty. That would have been a good spot to find some more rare loot associated with the Mantis. Now let's go on upstairs. Up here we find what can only be described as an armory. There is a calibrated rattler with some ammo in it. And a few other cases with ammo and weapons available. I guess the, uh, the boost they had wore off. That's what it is. Uh, calibrated Star Rumors Compactor. Gauge. Head up display. Empty weapon case. Yeah, this is the armory. So, empty cases. Disassembler boosted calibrated uh, it's the laser pistol. There's a huge pistol. difference between being prepared and carrying too much. Right, Got right, something right. for bring me anything useful? You take some of them. Actually, we'll give her. Ah, I can hold it up. Bye bye. All right. Let's take this ship now. Let's see. Do we have any bounties? And that, my friends, is the adventure that led me on my way to claiming the mantle of the Mantis and this new ship, the Razor Leaf. Please join me as I continue my adventures in Starfield using the Razor Leaf and, perhaps, a new other ships and my bounty hunts. But for now, let's enjoy the views we get with the Razor Leaf as we take off for the first time. Join us for the first adventure with Wraith the Bounty Hunter of Starfield today. We'll be making more of these videos as time goes on, and we hope you enjoy it. If you'd like to join us live for these adventures, you can follow us on Twitch at Mandalorian Wraith, or on all other social media at Mandalorian Wraith. Thank you, and have a good day.